What is going on everybody? So today I'm gonna go over something that I just got. It was actually Braden's idea. We've been needing a solution to store our, our handguns so that Liam, you know, obviously can't get into them and to keep them, you know, locked up at all times. So she sent me this thing on Facebook and what we got is the stock box instant reliable access handgun retention device. So this, honestly, I, I wasn't gonna make a video about this, but I figured I might as well because, you know, I need stuff to make videos about. But this is a box that has no external keys, no electronics, no batteries, no failures, hopefully no failures. So how it works is you press the combination up here, along with the thumb so it comes preset with these two, the index and the pinky, then you open it like that. My first impressions of the safe, well it's not, I don't think it's safe, I wouldn't call it a safe. It's a retention box, it's basically to keep your kids out. I watched videos on YouTube and they said it was like really, you know, durable feeling and stuff and I think it feels, my first impressions is that it's very plasticky and cheap. So, if we decide to keep this, I don't even know if we're gonna keep it yet, it will basically be for kids, like small children to keep them away from firearms. So this, I would consider a safe. This is what we keep my wife's handgun in. It's the Hornady Rapid Action Safe. This safe has RFID technology plus a pin. It plugs into your wall, plus it has, a rechar it has rechargeable batteries in it. Actually, well, let me open it up. So obviously I'm not gonna show you my password. First, you have to press this and then put in your password. Huh, it didn't work. That's not good. Well, this is upstairs plugged in and it works just fine plugged in. I don't think the batteries are rechargeable in it. That's what I was gonna check by opening it. I think they're just normal batteries. So I can't get into it. I think the batteries have died. So that goes to show that maybe this type of box would actually be more reliable as like a portable thing. Cause when we were gonna go camping and stuff, I wanted to keep the gun secure while we're up in the rooftop tent. So Liam doesn't get into it. And I was thinking, I oh, will just bring this because it has battery. Um, it's way more, I mean, this is not plasticky like this box, but now as I'm doing this test, I can't even get into it. I would have to go get the key. So let me go grab the key and I'll open this up and show you guys inside. All right, so I went up and got the key. So before I brought this downstairs, I downloaded everything because I knew I'd be making a video. I don't want any ammunition. You can see in there, I've already double checked it. So all the ammo's upstairs. So let's see if I can remember how to open this thing. So yeah, they're not rechargeable batteries. They're just normal batteries. And I've had this thing plugged in, so I have no idea why the batteries are dead. I basically just proved or convinced myself that I'm most likely going to keep this because it is a temporary solution for keeping your handgun out of reach of children and guests and stuff like that. Yes, it could be, I think you could break into this thing easily. It feels very plasticky. You know, obviously you could just walk off with it. I think you can buy like a little tether to go with it, but still you could, I could bet I could rip that tether out. But this, it's an awesome safe when it's plugged in, or if you're gonna be up on the batteries, changing them every couple months or something, because I haven't even really used it on battery power, but maybe, or maybe my wife did, I don't know, because it was unplugged for a while. Maybe I just haven't replaced the batteries, but I don't wanna have to be worrying about batteries. So this safe, definitely gonna be a home safe, plugged in. I'm gonna switch these batteries out, just in case, you know, the power goes out and the keys, I don't keep the keys right by it. So that's gonna be more of a home safe. I do like this safe a lot though. It's really, really functional. You have lots of options to get in. You have the RFID little tags you can put, places that hold over it and it'll open. 
the code and the key. So a lot of ways to get inside and you can program up to six RFID tags or whatever. But anyways, this video isn't necessarily about this. I made a video about this when I first started YouTube, like when I was super scared to upload videos and stuff and I just had my GoPro, so the footage is probably really bad. I might edit it and throw it up on my YouTube page just for fun. Kind of goes over this, but maybe I'll make a new one later. Who knows? I'll probably just edit that one because I really don't care. Okay, so when I first opened this box, just barely, right before I decided to make a video, I got all into it and I was like, you know what? I'll make a video. I thought it was kind of hard to open, so I pressed these and it like didn't have any retention. I thought it'd be like, I'd have to lift up on it to get it to open. But after I read this, it says to leave something in there if you're gonna be storing it for a long time. So that made me think, well, maybe with the gun in there, let me double check my other gun. I've already checked it twice now, but. So, you can see in there, it's empty, no magazine. So I was thinking with the gun in there, it would probably be easier because it says to store it with something in there or it will wear out the mechanism. So it has the foam on top. Push that closed. And then this is kind of where it impressed me. So you go up, say you're at the side of your nightstand. You go up, put your fingers on it, pops right open. Easy. It's a quick access, but there's not a whole bunch of combinations you can do. So I do not trust this for like a even like a teenager, once Liam grows up and he can understand a ton more and all that, I probably won't use something like this. This is just gonna be for when, you know, he's little, cause he's not gonna understand. Plus we're gonna keep it high enough where he can't get to it. It's just like an extra level. If I'm storing my guns long-term, they're gonna be in one of our actual big safes. Um, but if, you know, I'm carrying and I get home and I don't want to run upstairs or run downstairs to the other safes. I just toss it in here, lock it, put it somewhere that's out of the way. And if I needed it quick, I come up and I'm in. So right now I'm going to read the directions and change the combination, kind of see what that's all about. Yeah, so just a disclaimer, this is not a how-to video. Uh, I usually mess stuff up about five times before I get it right. All right, so I just looked up on YouTube how to change these out. So basically, I mean, you press down on this and pop these out and put them in whichever combination you want. I will actually link that video in the description below. Kind of give credit where it's deserved. I am not a how-to person. So those guys do a lot better at that. So you can change your combination. I'm gonna switch my combination. And after I get everything put back together, I will continue on with the video. All right, so I have successfully put everything back together. Um, unfortunately, we might get some squeaking from Koa because he keeps chewing on everything, but the squeaking keeps Liam entertained, so I apologize if there's squeaking in the background. So let's see how this works. All right. I've, it works great. I mean, you can open it quick. Um, this is the setup I have. Um, when I carry, I use this snag mag. So what? I do with this and how this works. Put this mag right in your pocket like so. It's like you have a pocket knife. And when you need to reload, you index it and you pull it back and it snags on your pants. And then you're ready to go. This little piece right here snags on your pants. Where is it at? Right there. That's what I have uh, overall. Goodness. Okay, we gotta go find the dog something else. This isn't working. So trying to make videos by yourself is one thing, but when you're babysitting uh, and you have two dogs, I shouldn't say babysitting, but when you're watching your kid and dealing with two dogs, it's a little harder. Let's see if the Grinch can be our saving grace. Oh, 
Oh my heck, that one has a squeaker too! Good heavens. Talent. All right, anyways, so this is the stop box. Patent pending, made in America. We have two of them because they were 80 bucks and I don't know, I got two of them. So that is the stop box and I think we're gonna keep it. The main reason we're gonna keep it is because the safe here uh, proved to me that is unreliable. You just can't rely on the batteries if you're gonna use it for like a mobile uh, purpose. So at home, this is great, love it. Uh, when we're out overlanding, camping, all that stuff, I do want my gun with me, but obviously it's not gonna be on me at all times, like when we're up in the tent, so I'll have it in this box, and it will prevent any unauthorized access. So, I hope you guys like the quick little review and the chaos here at my house. I appreciate you bearing with me. If you like these videos, go ahead and like it. Um, if you want to know when I upload, subscribe and hit the notification bell. I appreciate it. I like doing these impromptu videos because that's probably the only things I can do because it's so hard to plan anything when you are dealing with this beast. Koa, look how much bigger he has gotten. If you didn't know, we have had Koa for a short time and I will link up in the corner the video of when he was just a puppy when we first got him. I made a video for him because I'm that nice. He's a Belgian Malinois Dutch Shepherd mix. He's a, the sweetest dog I've ever met. He honestly is the biggest cuddler and he just loves to be pet and to be sweet. Hey, Bella. Thanks, Liam. Anyways, I appreciate it, guys. We'll see you in the next video. Liam, can you say bye-bye? Bye-bye. Say bye. Ah! See you next time. Ah! Oh, and if uh, on a side note, if you haven't tried these Red Bulls, watermelon, don't do it. They're, they're highly addicting.